One of the issues with social media, it's been pointed out by many people, is that I think maybe particularly Instagram, um, people look like they have a much better life than they really do. Right. So By design. Yeah, people are posting pictures of when they're really happy. They're modifying those pictures to be better looking. Um, even if they're not modifying the pictures, they're at least selecting the pictures for the best lighting, the best angle. Um, so people basically seem uh, uh, they're way better looking than they basically really are. Right. Um, and they're way happier seeming than they really are. So if you look at everyone on Instagram, you might think, man, there are all these happy, beautiful people, and I'm not that good looking, and I'm not happy. So I must suck, you know? And that's gonna make people sad. So when in fact, those people you think are super happy, actually not that happy. Some of them are really depressed, they're very sad. Some of the happiest seeming people, actually some of the saddest people in reality. So we know from the research literature that the more you use social media, the more likely you are to feel lonely or isolated. We know that the constant exposure to your friends' carefully curated positive portrayals of their life can leave you to feel inadequate and can increase rates of depression. And something I think we're gonna be hearing more about in the near future is that there's a fundamental mismatch between the way our brains are wired and this behavior of exposing yourself to stimuli with intermittent rewards throughout all of your waking hours. It's, it's a slot machine, and, and I mean that technically. So when you pull, it's, that's a variable ratio reinforcement schedule, if I remember correctly. And it's very addictive because if you pull on the slot machine arm enough, you will win. And you never know which pull will reward you. And so not only is that addictive, it's very hard to extinguish that. We now know that many of the major social media companies hire individuals called attention engineers who borrow principles from Las Vegas casino gambling, among other places, to try to make these products as addictive as possible. That is the desired use case of these products, is that you use it in an addictive fashion because that maximizes the profit that can be extracted from your attention and data. If you feed the beast, that beast will destroy you. If you push back on it, we have a chance to control it and rein it in. And it is a point in time where people need to hard break from some of these tools and the things that you rely on. The short-term dopamine-driven feedback loops that we have created are destroying how society works. You don't realize it, but you are being programmed. It was unintentional, but now you gotta decide how much you're willing to give up, how much of your intellectual independence. Is this sort of like a collective AI in in the Google sort of search, Google search, you know, the where we're all sort of plugged in as like like nodes on the network, like leaves on a big tree, all f and we're all we're all feeding this network with our questions and answers. We're all collectively programming the AI, and the, the and Google plus the, all the humans that connect to it are one giant cybernetic collective. This is also true of Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all these social networks. They're giant cybernetic collectives. They have admittedly been collecting credit card data and Facebook data from everyone. You fill out forms, you turn in information when you buy something, and where does it really go? Somebody like Cambridge Analytica gets that data and they compile it into the model. They take your supermarket purchase history and they match it against the things you said on social media and they match it against your credit card history, which is just really creepy by itself and seems like no one anywhere near politics should have your credit card history, but you know, it's all there. Somewhere it's all on that model. But by the time they get it perfected, if it's not already perfected, it's just gonna be an unstoppable monster.